The problem I have here is that when the siphon initiates, it does not drain enough water out of the grow bed. Perhaps only water from a one foot radius. When the siphon breaks, any second, there it is. That's all the water drains out of this grow bed, maybe one foot radius. I have a six foot by 12 foot grow bed. Doesn't drain very much water. <clears throat> There's a water level indicator about three feet away. That water level never goes down. This U siphon is on a roughly, uh, let's see, fills, a, fills up and the siphon initiates at roughly 1 minute 40 seconds, 1 minute 50 seconds max. Takes about 30 seconds to drain. It's going to, still filling up. It's going to initiate soon. As you can tell, water is starting to come out of the pipe. Let's see when it initiates any second. Starting, almost there, there it goes. Water level going down, water level increasing, the water flow increasing. They're about maximum flow. Let's empty this out. And only, unfortunately, the siphon only lasts seconds. I want it to drain more than just one foot radius. Here's the U siphon. Starts off with a two inch diameter pipe. Changes to a one and a half inch pipe. At the top of the U siphon, I just have two 90 degree bends as close as possible to maximize the siphon initiation. And then it drains out to the sump. As you tell right now, there's no water flow, but then it's filling. Up oh, there it started. Saw the flow. So that means the water level is here. See more or less the water level is the same here as here. It's about five inches deep here. Six inches deep here, but the bottom is one inch deeper. It's about ready to initiate again. The siphon. The siphon initiates when the water level gets up to the top here, pushes out all the air, creates a siphon. Siphon breaks when air gets up in here. Its draining cycle is pretty same time, more or less, 25-30 seconds max. To fill it up, it's anywhere from 1 minute 25 seconds to 1 minute 50 seconds. I'm trying to get the siphon to last longer than... 30 seconds, 40 seconds. My strategy is to open up this on this side so I have more space for water to flow in. But the problem is there's so much roots in this that it's 
preventing flow into this container or into this well here. And I only have a little bit of space here and a little bit of space here and here. Most of the space is over here. So I'm going to try and open this up to see if more flow water can come in to make the siphon last longer. The siphon breaks because the flow into this well here slows down to enough to put air into the pipe. So I can increase the maintain the flow enough. I can make the siphon last longer. Right now it's about siphoning or flooding and draining about 180 to 200 gallons an hour. I'm gonna try and increase that to maybe 300. We'll see. This is part of my problem. All these roots. Look at this big old root ball here. Restricting flow. Beautiful root development. It restricts the flow. It's, you can't even get the, the shale out of there. You can't even get it out without disturbing the roots. It restricts the flow. And here's this, here's what happens with it. Siphon initiates. You see, all this water goes away, which is great. It should initiate any second. Up oh, there it goes. flowing right there. Is it flowing right there? Siphon is already broke. Here is the finished work after removing the grout, uh, the expanded shale, pushing the roots back to increase the siphon time. When it was just this siphon area, it was siphoning for about 30 seconds to 40 seconds and taking anywhere from six to eight minutes to fill before siphon initiated. Now with this setup, it fills in about a minute 45 to minute 50 and siphons for 2 minutes 45 seconds to 3 minutes. About ready to initiate the siphon. You can tell when the siphon is going to initiate because the water level remains constant for a few seconds. Just about there. Just about that level, and then the siphon will initiate any second. There it goes. Nice vortex forming as it drains. Nice flow of water. As you can tell here, this is producing a nice flow of water. Here you can see a nice flow of water. Coming out here into the sump.
see the roots pushed to the side. And behind the roots are some basalt gravel. On this side, this side, and this side, I have large lava rocks, and this area is open for a good flow. No hindrances in the flow to increase the siphon time. Well into two minute siphon now. Still flowing well. Very nice. Almost time for the siphon to break. As you can see, the water level is filling up in the pipe. It'll go up and down as the siphon tries to break. The siphon will break once the flow into the pipe is slow enough to put some air into the siphon. That will break the siphon. Again, this is the siphon. Once air gets up here, siphon breaks. Almost there. There, it broke. As you see, it's filling up again. Water level rising. Most of the water comes from this area, as here is a pot, not much no flow there, very little flow here, as you see not much area to flow from, but here large amounts of area for water to flow from. Another inch or so, and then siphon will initiate again. It's good that the siphon lasts longer than the fill time. Like I said before, the problem I have is too many roots in the system prevents the flow, and it's a very large dr uh, drain, blood and drain probe bed. But a very small exit. Water level almost steady. Water level is steady, so any second now the siphon will initiate. There it goes. right there for the siphon. We'll stay at that until the siphon box is empty. And it goes to its normal siphon flow. Okay. Dropped off. That's the normal siphon flow until the siphon will break. This water level will go down slightly, maybe half an inch. You can tell by the zip tie level and the water level. Doesn't go down very much, unfortunately. The 
surface level doesn't go down. So the reason why there's a surface water is because all those roots in this area prevent it from going down into the water or into the shale. See all these roots right here? Very nice flow right there. Zoom in on the siphon pipe. As you can tell, very clear water. Filtering very nicely. I just changed the water flow, so tomorrow I'll check the flow rate. I'm hoping it's at least 300 gallons an hour.